I'm very pleased to uh, invite His Excellency Roberto Iaguribe, the Ambassador of Brazil to the UK government, to join us now and give us a few words on Brazil's experience in tackling undernutrition and also um, its plans for Rio in 2016. Um, Your Excellency. Thank you very much and good afternoon. Um, of course, uh, as Sir John Beddington said, that even a chief scientist is a little scared of facing an audience in relation to certain scientific issues. What is the gap between my knowledge as an ambassador and the technical requirements for this discussion? <laughs> but the, the thing is that one of the things I want to point out essentially is that nutrition is not just a technical issue. In fact, it is essentially a political issue and a diplomatic one. And it needs that approach in order to be uh, overcome and superseded. Uh, we, of course, uh, were delighted when the British government invited Brazil to be a partner in this process. We were very laudable uh, uh, action, and I agree with one of the speakers that had attributed a lot of responsibility for the British government in this respect. I think it's quite correct to do so. I think it's a wonderful initiative. And as always, the British government has an enormous convening capacity of strength, which is very important for uh, efforts of this nature. So we are very happy uh, in this initiative. Uh, we, I must say, uh, were a little concerned that it would be excessively narrow in its focus. Uh, Brazil has a vision that nutrition is a developmental problem. It has to be perceived in a broad vision, otherwise we're not going to supersede it. It's not because of a magic pill that's going to be developed somewhere that we are going to solve the nutritional issue. It has to be seen in a very broad developmental approach. And we wanted to pursue this line. And sometimes we thought that this would not be the final. And I was, for instance, uh, listening to data said the food is not the solution to nutrition entirely. But we do think it is helpful <laughs> in, 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 this, in this vision that we should strive for further uh, agricultural production. This, this brings into light an enormity uh, of problems that have not even been pointed out, like agricultural subsidies, trade, and, uh, 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 and, and a number of other elements that are fundamental in sorting out this issue on a global scale. On the other hand, we are happy to say, and perhaps is a little bit more optimistic, so are you going to wait for the conclusion of the Doha round in order to be able to tackle nutrition? That's not necessary at all. There are several different ways of doing it, and I think many of the processes that have been developed are very useful in this respect. Brazil has had an enormous priority attributed to this issue over the past many decades. We have been very successful in tackling many of these issues, uh, but we've seen this as a holistic manner, uh, a broad developmental issue that requires all elements to be approached and tackled. And I think we have been very successful. We began with a program which has been established in a small community, not so small actually, the capital of the republic, <laughs> but at, at, a, at a local level, which was the school meal approach many, many years ago. And this has developed into a major program for Brazil, uh, 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 satisfying tens of millions of, 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 of school kids three times a day on, on a regular basis. Then we have a very uh, well-known program called Bolsa Familia, which is also very helpful and contributes significantly to this process. All of this making significant uh, 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 advances in this case in Brazil. On the other hand, we are also very looking very much towards other countries that have the same requirements and have established many programs of cooperation within uh, Latin America, but very specially with Africa. And this, again, is where, where Nutrition for Growth can play a very significant role. We have had many meetings with the UK. We have agreed on a number of major areas where we're going to uh, uh, assess this issue and tackle it uh, uh, together. Uh, we are also very enthusiastic about the idea that we should try to get, garner as much support and visibility worldwide as possible. And obviously, major uh, uh, sporting events are extremely helpful in this respect. And the idea to connect this with the London Olympics was very well perceived. And we are very glad to say that obviously we're go going to host the event in 2016 in Brazil. But the basic uh, 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 understandings with the UK is that we're fo focusing on three uh, main pillars. The first is research on nutrition itself, 
promoting a new, uh, new research initiatives and linkages between universities in different regions. Uh, in the case of, uh, of, of Latin America, our Ministry of Science and Technology has established a network of 37 institutions in the, in the region. Uh, and we are already in incorporating five uh, new African research agencies as well. As you all may know, we have established a, uh, a branch of our uh, agriculture research agency in Africa, and our agency has had enormous success in tackling tropical agricultural challenges, which are to a large extent replicable in Africa, and we're trying to do that. In fact, many of you here, including the Bill Gates Foundation, are helping and supporting uh, Brazilian initiatives in this respect uh, in Africa as well. Uh, of course, uh, this is, is a very important element. The political element is fundamental, so the second level is a network of parliamentarians and magistrates. Uh, it's an ongoing process which began in FAO in 2006, uh, and it's already uh, the idea is to promote food and, and nutritional security within national legislative structures so as to strengthen the political internal commitments uh, for that process in, in, in countries, and this, we believe, is a uh, fundamental element. And the third is fighting food inflation and promoting, uh, promoting healthy eating. And uh, the main issues here are education on healthy and nutritious foods and promoting, and promoting access. Unfortunately, where currently the most uh, work needs to be done. Uh, on the positive side, Brazil has already a number of initiatives in this respect which have been uh, very useful. Uh, and I think the revolution in agriculture is something that we expect from Africa. And this is not just a question of science, but it's a question also of a business model. In Brazil, we have developed a very sound business model, both for large-scale fa uh, farming and for probably what is more important for Africa at this stage, for family farming. And this includes, of course, distribution, getting the products to markets and all of these elements. And we're working together with a number of, of entities trying to make sure that the models that have been successful in Brazil, and in this I think we are very well situated because the challenges are not very different from what many of the countries in Africa face. And of course, the developmental requirements in Brazil are still enormous. In fact, we're, the fact that we have been growing in, and superseded a number of problems does not make them uh, have, they, they have not gone away. They're still present in Brazil. So our experience in this respect are very uh, useful and I think they could be shared. So essentially, just to conclude, we are very happy to be associated with this initiative. We look forward for all the developments and we think that this partnership has all the elements to be one of the elements together in, in, embodied in the global uh, processes of superseding major developmental problems, especially uh, the, the sustainable development goals, which are now being formatted, uh, and where I think there can be a major commitment, and the results can be very successful. At, and to a large extent, we can see that the Millennium Development Goals have already contributed significantly to overcoming a number of major developmental problems. Of course, not all, and certainly not to the extent desirable. But I think this process has gained momentum, and the Nutrition for Go initiative is contributing in this respect as well. Thank you.